otitis media, inflammation of the middle ear characterized by the accumulation of infected fluid in the middle ear, bulging of the eardrum, pain in the ear and, if eardrum is perforated, drainage of purulent material puffs into the ear kyndale. Otitis media is the most frequent diagnosis in sick children in the U.S., especially affecting infants and preschoolers. Almost all children have one or more bouts of otitis media before age 6. The eustachian tube is shorter in children than adults which allows easy entry of bacteria and viruses into the middle ear, resulting in acute otitis media. Bacteria such as Streptococcus pneumoniae, Strep and Haemophilus influenza H flu account for about 85% of cases of acute otitis media and viruses the remaining 15%. Babies under 6 weeks of age tend to have infections from different bacteria in the middle ear. Bottle feeding is a possible risk factor for otitis media. Breastfeeding temporarily passes the mother's immunity to the baby which helps prevent acute otitis media. It is alleged by some investigators that the position of the breastfeeding child may be better than the bottle feeding position for eustachian tube function. However, this has not been proven. If a child needs to be bottle federal, Holding the infant rather than allowing the child to lie down with the bottle is thought by some to be better. A child should not take the bottle to bed because falling asleep with milk in the mouth increases the incidence of tooth decay. Upper respiratory infections are a prominent risk factor for acute otitis media so exposure to groups of children as in child care centers results in more frequent colds and therefore more ears. Irritants such as tobacco smoke in the air also increase the chance of otitis media. Children with cleft palate or Down syndrome are predisposed to ear infections. Children who have acute otitis media before six months of age have more frequent later ear infections. Young children with otitis media may be irritable, fussy, or have problems feeding or sleeping. Older children may complain about pain and fullness in the ear. Fever may be present in a child of any age. These symptoms are often associated with signs of upper respiratory infection such as a runny or stuffy nose or a cough. The buildup of pus within the middle ear causes pain and dampens the vibrations of the ear drum so there is usually transient hearing loss during the infection. Severe ear infections may cause the ear drum to rupture. The pus then drains from the middle ear into the ear kyndale. The hole in the ear drum from the rupture usually heals with medical treatment. The treatment for acute otitis media is antibiotics usually for 7 to 10 days. About 10% of children do not respond within the first 48 hours of treatment. Even after antibiotic treatment, 40% of children are left with some fluid in the middle ear which can cause temporary hearing loss lasting for up to 3 to 6 weeks. In most children, the fluid eventually disappears resorbs spontaneously on its own. 